Hi, welcome to Vanity's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is apple crumbles. And what's so lovely about these apple crumbles that I'm going to make today, I'm going to go pick the apples, crab apples, from my friend's tree. If you'd like to join me, let's go. Thank you for joining me here. Um, we're picking some crab apples and they're nice and big and juicy. This tons of them in this tree and what I'm going to do is take it back to my kitchen and we'll make some apple crumbles. Okay so what I'm doing here now is pulling down this branch because I want to take those big apples at the top and put them in with my collection of crab apples. I'm excited about those. I think I got enough crab apples here now, so please join me back to my kitchen and we'll make a delicious dessert. Apple crumbles. That was just absolutely beautiful. I love picking apples from my friend's tree. She lets me do that every year and I can't thank her enough for that. Um, I done a little bit of prep work when I got back before I started and washed the apples. I haven't peeled them yet and I don't want to peel them, I only want to take half of the peel off. So what we'll do, we'll talk a little bit about how we're going to make this apple crumble. So let's get started. So what we're going to do first, of course, for apple crumble, we need to cut up our apples. So I did a few in advance and what I did was take only a part of the peel off. The part that got the brown from, because some of the the crab apples when you pick them from the tree and the same thing with regular apples they got a little bit of brown on them so cut that off and pretty much all I did was cut the apple in half and then just sliced my knife down through like this so pretty much this way so you're going to be taking the stem out like you don't need that there and you see that brown you don't need that on there but I want to have a little bit of the peel because I like some of the peel for the color in the, the dish, as you can see, is just a small amount, and then put into about a tablespoonful of lemon water, cold water, and let it rest there until you're ready to use it. So again, just taking off the brown spots and the stem, we don't need that. Wash your apples good first before you even do this. So pretty much that's all you would do is just take, you don't need to peel it, just cut it down like this, leaving the stem of the apple out. And it doesn't matter. This is an apple crumble and you can use any type of apple. Today I'm going to be using crab apples because they're right now ready to pick and uh, that's my favorite time of the year. So this is all you need to do. Put it in some lemon water and now I'll show you the next step. Okay, so for the crumble part, you'll need about a cup and a half of flour, a cup of brown sugar, a cup and a half of roll oats of any cut, and you'll need one cup of butter. Then the spices that we'll be using in that is an allspice, which is a cinnamon, clove, ginger, and a nutmeg, and again, some lemon. And then we will have some more brown sugar and cinnamon that we're going to be putting over the apples when we put it at the bottom. So what we'll do now is get started and sh I'll show you each step as we go. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to take the pan that I'm going to be using to put to bake it in the oven. We'll put our bowl to the side because that's for making the crumbles. I'm going to drain the lemon water off of this and we'll put it directly into the pan. Okay, so just shake off any extra water and I'm going to put these little apples into the bottom of my pan. Now again today, as you already know, we're, we're using crab apples as our uh, apple of choice, but this is apple season in October, so you can pick any sort of apple and make this apple crumble with any of them. So now, after we got that down there, we're going to sprinkle over 
about a teaspoonful of lemon. So just pour the lemon on over. We got a cup of brown sugar, could be dark or light, it doesn't matter, whichever you got available in your home. And then we're going to be putting over a teaspoonful of cinnamon. So I'm going to mix all of that in through there equally. Okay, so now we got our apples all ready to go. What we'll do now, we'll make the crumble part of our apple crumble. So that's two, uh, one and a half cups of sifted flour. You just put it right on in. One and a half cups of uh, roll oats and any cut. Pour it on in. Like that. And then we're going to have one cup of brown sugar. So the, sp the spices are, you can put in about half a teaspoonful of each one of these that I named off. The ginger, the clove, we got uh, cinnamon, and we got nutmeg. So just pour it on in, and we're just going to mix that together. This smells absolutely amazing. I'm just loving every one of those scents that I'm smelling there now. I can't wait for this uh, apple crumble to be baked. So just mix it on in like this. So I hope you're following along and you're excited to make one of these delicious apple crumbles yourself. So that's one cup of butter. You could use margarine if you don't have uh, butter. Um, and just break it out in pieces, put it right on in to the mixture. So just put it on in like this. And breaking it up in pieces will make it easier for you to fold it all through. You can do it with a food processor, but just remember that you only want to pulse it. You don't want to break it up too much into a ball because this is just a crumble. So just fork this on through the mixture. So just keep mixing this through until it's all combined like this. And then I'll show you what's next. Okay, and if you're like me, you'll get tired of using the fork, so just uh, pinch it together with your hand until it gets just a crumble like this. Okay, so I just want to clean up from that first. So what I'm going to do is bring in my pan, and we're going to take our, our crumbles now and put over the top. Pretty much all you're going to do now is just scoop out the crumbles onto the top of your apples of choice. Okay, so just pop it all in there. Now if you want to make a bigger pan of apple crumbles, you can, but I just like this one. This is a serving for, I would say, about 8 to 10 people. So you just spread it out like this and just lightly pack it down. So that's how simple it is to make this delicious apple crumble from the garden to the oven. And that's the way you got to look at it and it's going to be a delicious dessert. Um, what we're going to do next now is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. We're going to put this in anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes until it's golden brown. Apple starts to get a little bubbly and depending on your oven of course if you need to leave it a little bit longer. Meet me back here when it's baked and I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome back to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. Our apple crumble is baked. Now I'm going to take up a nice portion of it and show you what it looks like. Just look how delicious and golden brown it is. You can see the apple after uh, bubbling up through the sides. So what I'm going to do now is just scoop out a nice helping, put on the plate. I got some thick cream to go with it, and I also got some ice cream. I'm going to scoop out a nice helping here. Just look, you can see the apple, and look at how juicy it is. 
little bit more of this thick cream. So thick cream, uh, those of you who know Philanders, you know that uh, we can buy it here in the stores. I don't know if it's available in other stores, but it's just a cream we shake and it goes thick like this. Um, and ice cream on to the side. Now I'm going to add a little taste of this. So as you can see, this is how quick and easy it is to make this delicious dessert apple crumbles from these delicious little crab apples. So I'm going to add a little taste. I like the cream even though I see I, ice cream is one of my favorites too, but I'm going to have a little taste. Mmm. Absolutely delicious and all of the spices and the crumble. Mmm. Crab apples. Delicious. I can't wait to finish that dessert or at least some of it. Okay, well this is it. Um, I hope you found this uh, episode of Apple Crumble helpful for you today. And if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And up at the top right hand corner, just hit the link. It'll prompt you to what you need to do. And you can also visit me on my Facebook page, my website, send me a message, www.bonitaskitchen.com. Apple crisp, apple crumbles are good any time of the year, seasonal and unseasonal. So don't forget, send me a message. So thank you for joining us once again today for this episode of Apple Crumbles. From my kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day.